नमस्कार व्यूवर्स जय जगन्नाथ हाउ इज एवरी वन डूइंग आई एम सेंग हेलो फ्रॉम ब्रेमेन India <laughs> If you're new to my channel then do subscribe I'm Sweekruti and I make videos on travel health lifestyle and my experiences here as an expat in Germany Let's take the journey to Bremen So we started our journey from Hanover at 10:45. It was super windy. I felt like the wind is going to blow me away. And after that, we caught our train at 12:20. Just we we wanted to spend some time at the Schutzen March today. It was so beautiful. I even got a flag from there from the parade march. It was so amazing to see such great people. And then we quickly caught our train at 12:20 from the Hauptbahnhof. to bremen now bremen is known as the city of the working class people it is really amazing which is full of tradition culture and at the same time very vibrant i'm truly excited because we've planned so much for bremen since a long time but finally today we are having the opportunity to go and enjoy the place i always hate so much when i don't get the food on time that's why i we just prepared rice from home बैठो चावल खाओ एंड दैट इज गोइंग टू सेव अस फॉर द डे एंड इन द इवनिंग वी आर गोइंग टू ट्राई द वेगन स्लैश वेजिटेरियन रेस्टोरा इट्स नॉट सो फेमस बट वी स्टिल ट्राई टू लोकेट इट एंड प्रॉबेबली इट हैज सम गुड गोसा वी फाइनली रीच ब्रेमन हिया Bremen is worth exploring history culture tradition food and so much more let's see how it turns out today i really did not expect bremen to be this windy today it feels so cold also in so such a beautiful summer so the first thing that we wanted to do today was go to the top so that we can have a beautiful city view but unfortunately i think it's closed uh although abhishek is still trying let's see ne nah, we couldn't go that's okay when it happens so i think we should ju we'll just continue going on our road we are currently at the mark plaza and it's a beautiful weather out here except except for the really windy season Um right now if you can see behind me that's the Roland which stands as a beautiful UNESCO World Heritage site people here say that it's the guardian of freedom and liberty here for the people in Bremen this sunday seems to be so fun and enjoyable people here are just bustling with amazing energy and and despite not being able to see the whole city from top we really really had a great time in the mark plaza here today So we are at the four musician stand at Bremen which is one of the most famous tourist places here it's known for a really big fairy tale folklore that is famous here apparently all the four animals here were searching to be musicians here in Bremen touching the feet of the donkey is said to bring really good luck to all the people but you must ensure that you need to touch both the feet together and not one <laughs> शेख को भी काम पे लगा दिया आई एम गोइंग टू द टूरिस्ट इंफॉर्मेशन सेंटर राइट नाउ टू पिक अप सम क्यूट सो विनर्स लेट्स गो Right now we are moving on ahead with the Bocher Straza. Bella, ciao, ciao, ciao. <laughs> Pull out of tune, Bella. Ciao, ciao, ciao. We're at the Bremen Chocolate Factory, and let's see how it is. I really wanted to try one chocolate flavor from here, and come on, let's go. 
I'm thinking of trying some Blue kind of candles. I'm gonna take this. So, I think Botches Raza was so amazing. We saw the Radisson Hotel there. I think most important hotels are in the midst of these historical locations such as Botches Raza. It was such a picturesque place there. And moving on, we are going ahead for the most awaited shoot. Let's go. We had some extremely delightful, picturesque sightseeing at Schnur right now. I mean truly, the pictures have always been beautiful but when you are actually looking at it with your own eyes, the feeling is super awesome. So much shopping from Schnur. We bought Bremen's famous babbler here and also the clabber cake which we are going to try. We had an exceptional time at Schnur right now and we are super hungry. It's almost 5 and we are right now heading towards the vegan slash vegetarian restaurant to have some quick dosa. I hope it helps our hungry stomach. We had a really awesome evening meal right now at Vigano and we, we ordered two dosa. I ordered a lassi with which my husband gave me with a yellow straw. <laughs> he knows I love yellow so much. And he also ordered a samosa. But I think the samosa is a little different than how we eat it in India. It was technically like a Turkish samosa. Wherever we have traveled till date, we just make it a point to try every other Indian dish that is available in that city. And the tradition continues here. <laughs> Since I've started living in Germany, a lot of places serve Indian dishes and everyone loves them. It also makes me so proud to be an Indian because of the food, the culture that we carry with us and that is loved by most people that I've met. I feel like after eating, we are even more tired. <laughs> <laughs> somehow and we've decided to go right now to a beautiful garden and it's close by as per the google maps we're just following the map right now that was not a part of our initial itinerary for bremen today let's find out how it is come we walked through a lot right now we even went to the garden and it was epic the beautiful Mueller, which is the windmill in german it was such a sight to see. Now we are moving ahead with our next plan and which is probably the final destination for Bremen today which is the promenade and I think it's going to be a breathtaking sight. Come! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Look at this place. I knew the sunsets here would be gorgeous but they would be so exceptional. Wow! Sometimes I wish that these moments, these sunsets that I see, I wish they never stopped, you know. The feelings that the sunset evokes in you, they're just splendid. I think at the end of the day, I just feel like so grateful for being able to live this moment, be in this moment and see it with my own eyes. Goodbye Promenade, you were super today. I hope you liked this video. Please drop all your comments below. And I'll see you next week. Stay safe, stay healthy. Dhanyabad, Jai Jagannath.